serious, Clint? This is Jim Bob. We're the Whiskey Dragon. That is right. Oh, shit. Oh, put your drink away. No, no logos. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And what we're doing today is we're surviving. Yeah, we are. We got us another gift there from the uh, Monceau Gasson. Yes. And uh, it came from the Amazon wish list. He was so generous enough to go on and buy us some shit. He is our biggest fan. Definitely. I don't even know how to thank him. I mean, biggest fan is in like maybe he has a pit in his basement. Waiting for us to visit someday with oh, a never. basket and some lotion. What the fucking lotion in the basket? Jeez, I never we thought about only that. Hope. We can only hope. Yeah, it's true. So what did he get us? Let's do regular slow motion. Okay. Regular slow motion? Yeah. Slow motion. Right there it is. We got us the Grizzly. Doesn't say in the back. Grizzly gear. Grizzly gear. Like bear. But by gear. Cameron's. Emergency food rations, 3,600-calorie bar. Made in the USA. Of a. Made in the USA, of a, right? There's a little star. Flag on it. There's a flag to prove it. Um, see, ready to eat, full of vitamins and minerals, five years shelf life. So this shit's going to stay around for a while. Damn, five years. All right, let's see. Let's get down to the fine print here. Each 24-ounce packet contains nine 400-calorie Grizzly Gear food bars, providing a total of 3,600 calories. For marine-based environments, the recommendation recommended consumption is two bars per person per day equal to 800 calories. For land-based environments, the recommended consumption is three bars per person per day equal 1,200 calories. Why is it different in the ocean? I don't know. That's weird. Somebody calling me. I think you need more well, just that in the ocean because you're trying to keep your sea legs and all that stuff. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a good question. Now, maybe because the salt in the air and the water dries you out quicker? Ah, uh, could be. That would make yeah. sense, maybe. So, so uh, good. maybe you get some sodium from that salt in the air. Yeah, maybe. And it dries out your skin and whatnot. Well, something I was saying was I hope these freaking things are individually packaged because I hate when they do this. Yeah, because then you end up wasting the whole thing. Yeah, if you're out there surviving, man, you got to keep... You know, rats might come to come by and... You stay over there, really. Like that. Now, something to keep in mind, too, is that... If you can buy these individually, yeah, then you can snack on them. But exactly. when you buy it like this, you can't just like snack on them and exactly. yeah. You, know, you gotta get the whole family them. around and say, "Hey, you ready to survive?" That's and, right. Yeah. All right. There's a bunch of ingredients and um, facts and stuff that we're not really concerned about. But a serving size is one bar, which you can't really see, but like that is a bar right there. It's just this little wee square. That's a bar. Yep. And there's nine servings in this packet, so there's nine of them bars. So how many people, two a day, if you're a C? Is that what it means? Um, well, let's, we, we never go in water, so that doesn't, yeah, matter, that doesn't apply to us. So uh, we're um, land-based environments. Three bars per person per day. But wait, here's a question for you. What if our buddies, uh, Western PA Wranglers, is that what it is? Yeah. Not Wranglers. Anglers. Anglers. What if what we if, always say Wranglers? What if they, they like the jeans with their amazing YouTube channel? What if they were out in a boat? Fishing? Well, they'd have to eat nine of these a day. Wow. Which is funny because it's if two bars per day for land based. I'm so confused. Oh no, they wouldn't have to eat nine. They'd have to eat. Uh, oh no, wait. Marine people have to eat two bars per person like per in, day. If you're in the Marines, that's because you're bigger and you're working out more, two, right? Two, so they need two of these a day. Jeez, Marines need to eat two of them a day. Oh, wait, now that's funny. What about like uh, UFC Oh, fighters? I get it. It makes sense now. Okay, two bars a day for people on boats. Oh, okay. okay because yeah. they ain't moving around and doing a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah. People on land have to uh, eat three bars a day. That makes sense. Because they're moving around. They're this. not trapped on a boat and they can go do shit. Yeah, that makes sense. So that makes perfect. So how many are we supposed to eat? Um, Fill us up. Three. Three. Okay. Three a day. Three a day. So you wouldn't so eat three at a time. That, so that's one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one yeah. at night. Like yeah. Like normal. Yeah. Like most people eat meals. Not like us. Or if you're a fat ass or something, you eat three at a time. So this would last a normal person on land three days. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Or if it was me and you, it'd be like uh, one day, two day. I'd probably kill you and I'd have a third day. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. All right, that. let's open up here. I'd go kill it. Shoot and, up. much to our surprise, it is not individually. Oh, sold. those SO. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. Mm. Looks like it. Yep. Oh, no, it's not. We'll just share that one. So uh, we can so, vacuum seal the rest of this. This looks like a uh, mixture between a little cake 
and a, uh, uh, a biscuit. Because we're going to make a mess. Like Let's a biscuit. Put down this Hulk Hogan towel here. Oh, yeah. That's clean. Clean enough. Clean enough. Um, Put it right on the dirt right there. It's nice clean, too. Clean oh, not bad. Wait, hold on. Let me try my new knife that you got me. Clint got me this knife. I forgot all about oh, yeah, that and showed this off. Too. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? That's his best accent. Thank you. I just want little pieces. I meant to do that. Somebody wrote a comment this on our uh, one video. I just thought about this right now as we're eating. They said, uh, it was a BB gun video. They said, you should stick to whiskey drink. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's rude. I don't rude. know what they meant by that. I think they meant that we're not good at shooting BB guns. Maybe. Now, at first inspection of this, looking at it, don't smell it or anything. Oh, oh. We're just looking. Yeah, just looking. Just looking. It reminds me of like dried out like peanut butter fudge or... Yeah, or it reminds me if you took like... instant mashed potatoes, you put a little bit of water, a tiny bit, yeah. and mushed them all together. And then let it dry out. Yeah. Okay, smell on it here. Oh, it's got kind of a fruity yeah. smell. It's got a pleasant smell. Smell like a lemon, maybe? I mean, just from the smell and look, I know what this is going to taste like. Uh, flaky shit in my mouth. It tastes like this. But hey, we got to keep in mind. It smells like lemon. We might be on like a boat. Of lemon. We could be on a boat. We could be out in the woods. This is all we have to eat. You know what I mean? I know that smell. Maybe uh, the squirrels aren't around. You're not able to shoot them out of the tree with a slingshot. Maybe you forgot your slingshot. Bam, right here. I think it's a lemony smell. All right. All, all right. right. Well, let me get a bigger piece. Kind of lemony. Is that what it is? Kind of. Well, I mean, crumbles in your mouth in a way when you bite into it. It's not natural. It's, yeah, it's not natural. It's not good. Not really. But it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. It'll keep you alive. It'll keep you alive. Um, all right, so we've had these kind of bars before, you know? Yeah. I would say, now remember the one that was the, uh, kind of in the foil? Got from that one company. And, uh, they were like ration bars. Yeah. Those tasted like shit. I can't remember what they are. This is not that bad. I could eat this if I was hungry. This doesn't have a lot of taste to it. It doesn't. Um. You can get through it. It doesn't have chemically chemical taste. It doesn't taste like they're trying to put all kinds of nutrients in it to the point it tastes, you know what I mean? Yeah, and so, I mean, it's just a lot of calories in a bar. Um, kind of dull flavor. That taste, though, reminds me of something. Yeah, like a lemon meringue or something. Something like that. Okay, Yeah. if, uh, I can't imagine eating a whole, whole quote-unquote bar by myself. I could. Could you? Right now, you couldn't. But if you're hungry, yeah. If I was hungry, that's a you different could. story. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, like as of right now, I couldn't imagine sitting there and just snacking all. Yeah, because it's weird. It's like uh, yeah, the texture. Things aren't right. Uh, first thing, uh, what I was thinking is I was chewing it. Is like I wonder if there's a way you could uh, maybe soak this in water, but that'd be nasty. I was thinking the same thing. Just put a little tiny bit of water in there. And... But I don't know. Yeah, really. Wouldn't suggest to do that. We should, we should try. Here. I mean, you imagine you can make like a like a. Like a pudding almost out of it. <coughs> Shit. Well, that didn't work. All right, we'll let it sit there for a second. Let's soak in. I think it's the towel. It's it's soaking. Look, it's soaking in. That's the towel. No, it ain't. Oh, yeah, it is. It's soaking into this. No, it's not. No. I think if you did take it and, like, crush it up and put it in a cup, like, crush it to powder, put it in a, like, a water bottle, shake it up, make, like, a thing, yeah. something out then of it. Then what would you do with it? That's gross. Chug it down. Oh, yeah, I guess it'd be surviving. Get it. What? Yeah, it's soaked into a towel. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I think the thing is, though, eating it, eating a whole bar like that, yeah. it gives your mouth kind of, you know, it gives you the illusion you're eating when you don't have nothing. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Now, how would you oh, go? something interesting on the back here. Manufacturer date. January of 19. Expiration date. 
January of 2024. Damn, so they're going to last a long time. Five-year shelf life. Thing is, though, we uh, opened it. But you know what you, we can do? I got a food saver. I was just saying that. You got a vacuum sealer. So we'll vacuum seal those. Put if them you in the do pack. not have a food saver or the vacuum food sealer thingy, they're a little pricey. Don't get me wrong, but you got to go buy one. Yeah. There's a, there'll be a link down in the description where you can find one on Amazon. You should do a video showing people how you do that. I should. That's, That's a not cool, a bad idea. That's a cool we could do these. We could. I'll just go get it and do these. So if, if the apocalypse, sorry, I didn't mean to point that at you. If the apocalypse goes down, Montessor, guess on. Guess on. You have, you can come and find us. We're going to have these in our survival backpack. Right. Just ask us. But so. by the time you get here, because you live a long ways away. It's true. The, it'll be gone. So. We might be coming to you. We don't know what's going to happen. That's in hard this to tell. Depends on where the apocalypse happens. Yeah, but we got your back. But we're pretty sure it's not going to happen in America because nothing bad ever happens here. And let me say, we seem like nice people, but we don't have a lot of people's back. No, but no. we have yours, Montessori. Yeah, uh, for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get the vacuum sealer. We'll seal these. We'll make that a whole uh, another video. And you guys, definitely check out the Amazon wish list. And, uh, Montessori Gas, and thank you very much. Yeah. Keep that basement warm and, you know, and keep that lotion Especially warm. Especially the pit in the basement. <laughs> keep that basket stocked with lotion. We love you, man. All right. See you later.